hope everybody's doing okay today. Uh, today we're going to be working on a Phantom 3 standard drone. It's made by DJI. And this drone has uh, what they call stress cracks. This one's not too bad. But if you look real close, like right in here, you will see some stress cracks. See them? There's, there's none on that one. Then there's a one on that arm right up here and uh that's about it and what what we can do to fix these stress cracks is they sell these uh, aluminum plates to go on it and you just put the aluminum plates on it and uh take some uh what is it loctite the blue loctite where it's not permanent put it on it screw it in i'll show you in the video Okay, the first thing you want to do, you want to remove your blades. You want to use the uh, DJI. It comes with it when you buy the drone to remove, remove your blades. And if you look on the blade itself, it has, uh, you might can see it. It has over here which way to turn it to tighten them, and it has over here which way to turn it to loosen them. So just look at which way you loosen them. Uh, I think it's to the left. Use your DJI, DJI supplied tool and just remove your blades. Of course, this one was tighter than that. All right, after you get your blades removed, set them to the side. And just remember to put these blades back on in order. As you see, it's silver. That goes to the silver tip motor. And the black ones go to the black tip motor, like you see here, the black dot on them. All right, once you got all your blades moved, set them to the side. Flip your drone upside down. And uh, these kits, let me show you what comes in these kits. In these kits, you get a machined aluminum plate. And then you get uh, six screws and spacers. Uh, let's see, some, some of the screws is longer than the other ones because the screws that you're actually going to use the spacers on you will need a longer screw to reach uh the motor mount of the drone okay what you will do first is just remove uh the screws that's the wrong wrong one remove all six screws And if you notice, even the factory screws have the uh, Loctite on them. So that's what you want to go back with. You want to use the uh, Loctite Thread Locker 242. Uh, blue means it's removable. I think the red is what you don't want to use. Now that we have the screws removed, we'll put the spacers in the holes just like that, and just like that. Now we want to uh, put our metal aluminum or alum aluminum. Now we want to put our aluminum plate on there. You've got uh, two different size screws. You got one screw that is fatter. And the other one, I apologize for my dry hands. And then you got one that's really sm smaller than the other ones. The smaller ones go where the spacers are, at the back. That's where they go. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna open up our Loctite. Put our thread locker lock tight on there. And we will have to open this. Yeah, I don't see nothing. Open our lock tight.
Ooh, ooh. Okay, that's enough to do the whole drone, probably. Let me get that off my knife. Okay, what we'll do first is we'll put the back screws in. And it comes with the Allen tools to uh, put them back in, but you, you're going to need a hex screw to remove these back ones, to remove the factory ones. You don't have to put a lot of this Loctite on here, just a little bit. Shouldn't have to really torque these really that tight. Just kind of do them in like in a pattern. I, I'm gonna use like an X pattern. This will prolong the life of your drone. I've seen a lot of people wait till it's too late and uh, actually have to buy a new shell. And this is a fraction of the cost and a fraction of the work of replacing the whole shell on the drone. That's pretty much it. We'll just clean that up with a paper towel. We'll go ahead and repeat the process on the other three arms. And that should make this drone last a whole lot longer because these stress fractures, you don't want the motor to blow off the uh, body when it's in the air. We've got the drone back together. As you can tell, uh, these motor, I think they're called motor mount base protectors. Uh, there'll be a link to them in the description below. But as you can tell, they they look almost like factory. And uh, they, they weigh hardly anything, so I don't think you will lose any battery life. And uh, like I said, you'd almost know that they're on there. Uh, I guess that's it. Uh, always remember, I love you, but God loves you more. Mm -hmm.